I got to go on a little rant about Bernie Bros. Okay, I, I, I don't know why it took this long for me to snap, uh, but I, it's so offensive and <laughs> smug and condescending, so condescending and such a dirty political trick. Now we already covered uh, when it, the story first broke, and it hilarious beginning to the story. Mashable is an article claiming that uh, they're all Bernie only has these young males who support him, and they're all sexist or whatever. And in the article, they cite two tweets yeah. from random people. Random, okay, that that are not anyone that's in you know that's mm -hmm. a Bernie supporter uh, in his campaign or in the media or anything. And it turns out one of them is a woman. Okay, and Bernie bro, <laughs> right? Sexism, and didn't say anything sexist because, by the way, because she's a woman, she just called Hillary Clinton a liar, right? Bernie bro, and then the second one, it turns out, was a Tea Party guy. The whole thing's made up. So, okay, now we know that part. So, is the Tea Party guy the one behind? Because there was an Instagram page that everyone was outraged about called Hillary's Vagina. We mm -hmm. don't know the identity of the person behind uh, that. To say that that person sounds is like a Bernie a, supporter. <laughs> yeah, the most liberal people in the goddamn country and by are the way, sexist. Also, you didn't know that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, there are deplorable people that support every single candidate, right? Including Hillary Clinton. To say that those people are representatives of Hillary Clinton would be unfair, right? Okay, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. So. It, then when you realize that her campaign did the same exact thing to Obama, and there's an article from 2008 called Obama Boys. Yes. Right? So then you realize, oh wow, look at that. At the real sexism is Clinton's campaign every time she runs accuses her male opponents, supporters of being sexist. It's a trick that she does on purpose and gets her surrogates to do. Oh, Obama's uh, supporters are sexist Obama boys, right? And then, by the way, Obama boys, really? You went there? Yeah. Okay. And now to Bernie supporters, Bernie bros. As if, again, it's, they sound like Trump people, right? Yes. Uh, tr the Trump guy who says, no, 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 the KKK is a progressive organization. What? Right? Oh, no, 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 the supporters of the most liberal senator of our lifetimes are actually secretly sexist. Secretly. Like, what? Well, that sounds preposterous. And to do it based on anonymous, and your case is so weak that you couldn't find actual Bernie supporters on the whole <laughs> internet. Okay? On the internet, we could find supporters of Mother Teresa who would say the most vile things about you, right? And you couldn't even find that. But the whole point is no, we're going to attack you personally. Yes. Okay? And we're going to smear you. Now, Bernie won't go negative on policy. He's, will you, for Christ's sake, go harder and say, not about personal stuff, not what she's wearing, not oh, any of that stuff. Even the email stuff, which is half of which is legitimate, or put that aside. Say, look, here's her upcoming uh, donors pharmaceutical companies, uh, Wall Street companies, right? And, and, uh, now she's meeting with an ex NRA lobbyist. What happened? I thought it was, I was too conservative on guns. And is she going to get influenced by that? Of course she is. It's not just theoretical, it's not just system, systemic. It's her. She's been taking hundreds of millions of dollars. They literally have over $100 million, the Clintons do, from these giant companies, right? You think they're not affected by that? You think the companies are all stupid and don't want to make money? You don't think that those companies see it as an investment in her? Look, Trans-Pacific Partnership, she says she's now against it. She's on the record uh, uh, in public 45 times supporting it. You've got to point that out, that's policy. In return, since Hillary Clinton has no real policy argument to make, what does she do? She goes the smear route, dirty politics, and by the way, sexist. It, hey, you're men, you're men, that means you're against women. I'm going to smear all men, just like I did with Obama, right? Can I so it's if anyone who says Bernie bro, first of all, you're a part of that machine, okay? You don't even realize that. Most of the people who do it are regular people who got propaganda like, oh, I don't know, all the writers who all used to work for her tell me that, she, that all, anyone who disagrees with her is a bad person who's a Bernie bro and disagrees with her for malicious reasons because they're actually sexist. I, I heard that here, so I, it went out here. The Bernie bro, Bernie bro. If you say Bernie bro, you're a bad person, it is deeply offensive. If you care about being offensive or not offensive, you claim that you care a lot about being offensive. Don't offend me, don't offend me, right? Yeah. Okay, you're doing something offensive. And you're also a stupid person who got tricked, or you're part of the people doing the tricking, 
right? Yes, that's right. It. And so you think, ah, oh, we, we can't win on the merits. We, if, if I argue policy, the guy is clearly more progressive than I am. I can't even say it with a straight face that I'm more progressive. So what am I going to do? I'm going to smear him. That's the Hillary Clinton campaign. And anyone who says Bernie bro is part of that smear, dirty, dirty politics. I also want to add one more thing, and it's something that I want everyone to take into consideration, even if you're not a Bernie Sanders supporter. If you genuinely care about sexism and you take it seriously, this minimizes real cases of sexism, right? Uh, this is the kind of thing that will, in the future, make people look at real instances of sexism and say, nah, they're making it up. Because this minimizes it. This It's like the, the boy who cried wolf, right? Yeah. When you use this as an instance of, of sexism, well then, you fucked up. Because in the future, everyone's going to deny real cases of sexism. Anna, that's such a great point. And she's willing to use it for politics and lessen its power, and it should have power, when there's so much real sexism in the world. But you're going to make it harder to fight against that sexism by turning into a deep, a dirty political trick. So that next time somebody says sex, and like, oh yeah, here we go again. You know, remember when Hillary used that against Obama and when she used it against Bernie? It doesn't really mean anything, it's just politics, right? And you're willing to hurt the cause of women who have been fighting against sexism their whole lives because it benefits you personally, right? right. But oh, hey, that's just politics. <laughs> that's just politics. If women have to suffer through sexism because I I cheapened it and I use it for my political campaign. That's your problem. It's not Hillary Clinton's problem. She's she's already got a hundred million dollars. She doesn't have those problems. So here's the crazy. So you're it got under my skin too. It's like people that I follow on Twitter, I respect. People on the left, right in the media, are doing this kind of crazy stuff. Now I watched that MSNBC. I watched that Chris Hardball show. He always has on Joan Walls from Salon.com. And I'm always, when she's on, I'm like, thank God she's on. She's going to bring some sanity to this conversation, which she usually does. She's doing this too. It's so disappointing. Here's a tweet she put out two days ago. It said, I am just getting the extent to which the white male left thinks Clinton is not only corrupt and venal politically, but stupid. What the fuck, guys? So why, why white, why male? White male left on the left. We think that Clinton, not only is she, so what I tweeted and who's, back who's was. calling her stupid? I said, I don't like, where know did what. That come from? No, she's very smart. She's incredibly she's rich. She's very, very and she, smart. I'm yeah. not calling her stupid. I'm calling you stupid. Because she duped you into thinking, no, the millions upon millions of dollars I stuffed into my pockets, stuffed into my campaign, stuffed into my super PACs, didn't affect me at all. No, no, no. And all the time that I argued for conservative positions, oh, I didn't mean it. And whenever, whenever I was in power and I argued for TPP and I argued to incarcerate all those African Americans in the, the worst bill, worst crime bill we've ever had, all the things she actually did and helped Bill Clinton to do, she argued for it, she lobbied for it. That's when she said the super better lies. Anytime she was in power and she did conservative things, she was just what? Kidding? She was <laughs> setting up for later, if she's ever in power 20 years later, to then turn around and become a progressive? No, she did those things. And so when we attack her on policy, it drives you crazy because you don't have an answer for it. You don't have an answer. So you go, oh, uh, you're white, <laughs> you're male, you're Bernie bro, okay? Yes, I'm, so, I'm not calling Hillary Clinton stupid. That strategy has worked. So it's a nice little political trick she's done. I'm calling you stupid. Yeah, it's, it's, so what I said back to Joe when she tweeted that out was, I don't know what venal means, but here is Senator Warren telling us how corrupt Hillary Clinton is. We don't dislike Hillary Clinton or we're not supporting her because she's a woman or because she's not smart. It's because of policy reasons. That's why we were getting, we think money should get out of politics because it corrupts. Here's another woman, Senator Warren, telling us the same thing. So I don't understand this weird game that some people on the left, they start acting like right wingers. Exactly what you're saying, Jack. It's like, if you don't have a policy thing to complain about, you're going to just make up bullshit. Like somehow the most progressive white guys on the left are somehow now misogynistic. It's the craziest no, no, it's not crazy. It's a dirty, dirty trick. But I don't right? think Joe no, no, Walsh is no, a dirty No, she does. She does. She's doing it. I don't know if she does it on purpose or not. But anyone doing this, thinking that, if hey, when we say that Republicans are bathed in corruption because of all the money <coughs> they take from political donors, and we say the same thing about Democrats, that somehow that makes us misogynistic, <laughs> no one, no one in their right mind could think that. They've got to either know that they're doing it 
uh, trick to smear opponents, or they've got to be fundamentally stupid to think like, oh yeah, when a Republican takes millions of dollars, oh he's a bad guy, but when a Democrat does it, he's a good guy, You're right? Oh yeah, no, Hillary Clinton, she she won't be affected by millions of dollars, okay? No, and, and, that's and then you know what they're going to complain about here? Oh, but Jank yelled at us. Uh, you know, we don't <laughs> have, we don't have a policy position. We can't win on policy. We cannot win on policy. Instead, we'll smear progressive positions like single payer. Now we'll say, oh, that's a stupid dream. That's unrealistic. But Daily Beast in an article asking about how you know what kind of Jew is Bernie Sanders? Oh my God. Okay, uh, and oh, all, okay. My God. And then in that article, the guy is Jewish and says, "Oh, maybe not a bad one, and it's a reasonable thing." And but he mentions how this strand of Jew, uh, Judaism that w that he, by the way, is putting on Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders never said it, right? Is it has produced a lot of communists. Oh my! And gosh. and a lot of neoconservatives, and is actually an atheist, right? And, and but it's okay. I kind of like this kind of strand of Judaism that's atheist. And then he says, but there, he's got real morality. He's got real morality. Uh, and like when he goes against the bankers and the powerful, that's morality. But it is quote an unrealistic morality. They even attacked his morality right. as unrealistic. And they tell us they're the good guys. They're the real liberals. They're the real progressives. And we're misogynistic because we actually care about policy and. And and all they have is insults and attacks. So you want to do insults? We can do insults. Okay. So, but we don't do it to Hillary Clinton. Like, hey, don't vote for her because of uh, her personality or her uh, gender, her, her gender, her, her traits that she can't do anything about. Okay. Right. We do it based on results of what she did when she was in power, how she gets into power. And do you really believe? I don't care who it is. You can name Joe Walsh, I named Tomaski, Kelly Goff, all these people. You, I'm challenging you right now. What bet do you want to make? She doesn't do a goddamn thing to get money out of politics. So you're okay with that. You're okay with the system crushing the average person for the next four or eight years, and you're going to celebrate that no change, no change, no change. You really, you're going to look at me in the eye and tell me she's going to get money out of, money out of politics. She's going to fight really hard to make sure she doesn't get hundreds of millions of dollars again so she can win the next election like she's been winning elections. The only way she's won them is with all of that money. But no, 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 no. After she used that money uh, against Bernie Sanders, against everybody she's ever run against, she's been living and breathing with these same guys in the same bubble. And she worked on their board. She did all these things. She goes in and, and gives speeches to them telling us, oh, they're. Uh, I can't tell you what's in those speeches. They're fantastic. That's why, as Bernie said, they get she gets paid two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars per speech. They must be pretty good. How about you share with me? No, 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 no. Why? Because she went in there and she told the bankers whatever they wanted. Because that's how the system works. But you're going to tell me she's going to get money out of politics. You don't believe that. You don't believe it. Yes, I'm pointing my finger at you. You don't believe that. You know she's going to do nothing to get money out of politics. And you think, no, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, I don't care about policy, Bernie bro, Bernie bro. Ha ha! I got you. I called you a name, Bernie bro. And what backs that name up? Nothing. These are the most liberal people in the country, and you're willing to smear them for your political purposes. I hope you're proud.